Welcome back to Idaho Today. You know, Halloween is about one month away, and before yes. you start panicking about what costume you're going to buy, why not consider making your own ghoulish creation? And that's why we're joined here by the lovely Katarina from Jump, because they have a great kind of customization, costume customization workshop yes. that's coming up. All right, so tell us about this workshop because it's not only about finding that little unique piece and having something different, but um, it's also about maybe taking something old and upcycling it, right? 100%. Okay. So starting this week on Thursdays all the way through October, we're having a Halloween costuming class. If you've ever wanted to make your own costume or at least part of it, mm -hmm. come to this class. I think it's a great resource. Um, it's a completely free class and really the point of it is for us to make sure your vision and your um, costume idea is like visualized. Mm -hmm. So for example, in the classes that we're gonna offer, um, not only steps on how to build these costumes, but we're gonna also offer some materials wow. and some things to kind of get you started. So for example, um, We've had some lovely donations from the community and they've donated maybe old costumes. So we're hoping you can get inspired by something like this and then we'll help you make an outfit around it, whether it's a gown or like mm -hmm. um, some a long jumpsuit Complete or anything. Complete the vision, exactly. right? This is yes. a fantastic Isn't Medusa kind of Grecian headpiece, yeah. Yes. All right, and so, and you had mentioned it's free. Uh, but so are the materials, some of the yeah. materials up front, which is fantastic. Sure. So this is also something that can help people who may want a really elaborate, exciting Halloween costume, mm -hmm. but they don't want to break the bank, right? For sure. This is a brilliant way to start. Sometimes, so some materials are yeah. there too, right? Exactly. So yeah. sometimes um, it can be expensive to get fabric, but we're hoping to get you kind of started with at least some basics. Um, another thing also is not only using and making things from scratch, but also probably shopping your closet and kind of seeing what yes. things that you have already. So for example, today I have on this little, this little fall dress. You look dress. adorable, <laughs> Thank yes. You. But I mean, you could wear that out anyway, but when For you match sure. it with a witch's hat. Exactly, exactly. You, you look like um, a little, you look like you're out of Hocus Pocus. <laughs> yes. Honestly, yes, so yeah. Force here, you know what, I want you to come around here to the side of this table so you can model and showcase and Dakota okay, can yeah, get a nice sure. shot. So this is just a great example of like uh, what Katarina was saying. Go ahead and model yes. for us. Um, that this came out of her closet. How cute is that? <laughs> And truly, it looks like something out of Hocus Pocus. Yes. But then just put a Halloween hat or a exactly. witch's hat on top, and look at you. Totally. Yeah. So we're also trying to do that. Um, sometimes making costumes can be a little time consuming. So mm -hmm. depending on what you, uh, how much time you want to invest in, we can help you make accessories. So for example, a really cool belt if yeah. you have like a lot of the other accessories. Well, um, come on back over yeah. here because I want to talk to you because you have some patterns as well. Yes, so, we so if somebody does have the gift of sewing and they're already going down that path, or maybe they just sure. want to try something new exactly. and give their hand at it, they can do that. But you also do have patterns as well to help give some guidance. For sure. So yeah. um, anyone really of any skill level can come, even if you don't know how to sew at all. Mm -hmm. We have um, fun things like giant cardboard that we can use to make really big wings. So if you're a little bit crafty, but not necessarily a sewing expert, yeah. that will be the best thing. But for those who kind of maybe want to learn how to sew or any anything like that, we have patterns available and we're just going to give tips and hopefully... Um, during this class, people can learn a little something and yeah. just kind of get creative and try something new. Speaking of getting creative, we need to showcase this. This is a candy yes. crown. I absolutely love that. And from the back here, there, you know, there's there, there's an old existing, what I imagine would be just like kind of like a plastic crown, mm -hmm. but then they went ahead and then took a form that they cut out here, if it looks like some styrofoam material, and then just glued, you know, fake little pieces I mean, from yes. some holiday decorations right. to real ones here, people, that when you're done with the Halloween party, you can eat your creation, which that is so <laughs> cool, right? Serves yes, multiple purposes. Uh, but just, I love the creativity and the customization and how yes. unique this is gonna be. That's when I have trick-or-treaters coming around, yeah. that's my favorite part, is seeing right? the really unique costumes exactly. that are personally made. And sometimes I add an extra candy or two yeah, in I the bag, that. right? <laughs> just out of the effort as well. Um, a ton of fun. So if people want to take advantage of this, uh, Katarina, what do they do? So honestly, you just show up on Thursdays. It's from 5 to 7 p.m. at Jump, which is in downtown Boise. And really, we're there to help your Halloween visions come true, I think. I love it. Do they have yeah. to register or anything, or can they no just show up? No registering. Just show up, and we'll see. And we'll take it from what there. Kind of magic we'll create. Yes, I like that. Yes. See what kind of magic you see that getting in character. <laughs> love it. All right, everyone, stick around. We have a lot more to come here on Idaho Today right after.